Hey gang, Kim here and welcome on back to My Happy Place. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, as you can see, of this fun kit, which I thought would be great to work on now that the holiday season is approaching and we're all getting ready to have some downtime and to enjoy ourselves with family and friends. And this one is Long Island Iced Tea by Lily and Val. So this one is a square diamond painting. It's fairly small at 47 by 60 centimeters. And I just thought that this would be a fun one to do now, like I say, just for a bit of a break from the big canvases that I've been working on. And also because the holiday season is upon us and who doesn't love having a Long Island Iced Tea? <laughs> So anyway, guys, like I said, this is a square drill diamond painting. How do I know that? Well, firstly, here it says quite clearly square diamonds. It is also a blue square and there is a blue stripe on the box over here. Also on the side, if you pack your boxes this way, you'll be able to see there um, quite clearly again, it says Whoops, it says square diamonds. So that is how you can tell basically whether you're working on a round or a square. If this was a round, everything on this box would be pink and these things would be um, circles rather than, than squares. So basically that's the box. On the back of the box, you do have some further information on how to diamond paint. You've got kit contents. Um, and then where was the, there we go. And then you also have a code that you can scan for 10% off your next order. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to open this box. I'm going to get everything laid out on the table. And then we will have a look at the actual diamond painting, the drills and the contents of the box. I won't make you watch me struggle through that. So give me one minute guys and then I'll be back. Right, so here I am back with the contents of the box, which you can now see on your screen. So let's start firstly and very quickly with the thank you note. Uh, this is just a little pamphlet from the owner. Um, you can have a, a read through there. There's a link to the Facebook group. But most importantly, over here, you can see another discount code for 10% off your next order if you prefer to use that code. Um, over and above that, we've then got the sticker sheet. Now, strangely enough, this kit is missing its little sticker. Now, for those of you that are familiar with Diamond Art Club, there is normally a little square sticker inside the box that you can put on the side of the box or in your logbook. I've checked the box. I've given it a good shake and it's definitely not in there. So I am missing the small sticker. But this is the, the bigger sticker sheet. Obviously, this sticker here you can use in your logbook because it's got the start date and the end date and then a nice um, picture of the image and then details there of the actual canvas. As I said, this is a square canvas, 47 by 60 centimeters. And then, of course, here you have your sticker sheet. Um, these are all, are these pre-cut? Yes, these ones are, I just had to check because sometimes um, the stickers, if you've got an older kit, are not pre-cut. These are pre-cut stickers, as you can see, as well as the fact that here you are given extra stickers to just keep and use, you know, on your storage containers. Oh, there, I've pulled that one off already. <laughs> so basically, these are obviously the stickers that you will use on your sticker, well, on your storage containers, this kit has 26 colors, so not a huge range of colors. The symbols all look easy to read and clear. Nothing looks like I might get it confused. So anyway, guys, that is the sticker sheet. Then we have the toolkit, and I'm happy to see that this is a new toolkit. So how do I know that? Well, I know that because of the color of this toolkit. The newer toolkits come in this yellow type of um, packaging or packet or yeah packet I suppose and the older toolkits come in a white or opaque or see-through type of um, packet so you will be able to see or know straight away whether you've got an old or a new toolkit so 
I'm just taking out the content. Oh, yay, I've got a butterfly. Okay. So there we have the contents of the toolkit. Basically, I'm not going to go through it in much detail. You can see that you have a pack of baggies. You have a diamond painting pen and a squidgy to go onto your diamond painting pen. You have two multi-places. This looks like a seven. Yes, a seven and a four. I think that's standard. You always get a seven and a four. A pair of um, tweezers. This is because this is a square drill kit. If you order a round kit, you won't get the tweezers. And then, of course, you've got your tray with your little stopper at the top and your container of wax. But what we want to look at are these two things. So here we go. This is the, um, let's just have a look at this. Oh, wow, that's quite pretty, very girly. That's a floral type pattern on that washi tape. So that's nice to get. And then guys, I got a butterfly. <laughs> At long last, I've been hoping to get one of these for ages. Oh, and this one is so pretty, the coloring in it. It's yellows and greens and blues, stunning. Um, as you can see, you've got your little magnet on the back so that you can use this to hold your clear cover sheet back if you work in sections, which I do. The last thing, obviously, is the drills. So this is, or these are the drills. As you can see, the drills are actually labeled. So it says Long Island Iced Tea on there in case you want to keep your drills aside. Obviously, there are not a lot of colors in this kit, and they are mostly dark with pops of orange. We can see that there. But I will obviously open these drills just now, and we will have a closer look. But for now, let's have a look at the canvas. So here we go. This is my fun canvas to do for the holiday season. So this is Long Island Iced Tea. So this is a very small canvas by my standards. <laughs> Those of you who have watched my channel for a, a while and have seen some of my post reviews know that I tend to work on much larger diamond paintings than this. But I needed a break from that now. I wanted something that would be quick and easy, which this one will be because of the large amounts of color blocking as well as the small size. So this one is going to be perfect, like I say, just to give me a break. I also find that I'm entering into a lot of events. I don't know if you guys are the same. And, you know, obviously the events have their rules and you have to pick your canvas based on the event you're entering into. And sometimes, I don't know if you guys find this, but I find this, you just find you're doing event after event and sometimes you just want to work on a diamond painting just for the hell of it and just to have fun with it and just because you feel like it. Um, <laughs> and this is basically this canvas for me. This is going to work up very quickly. Um, I think I'm going to have good fun with this one. It's not going to be a hassle. Um, it's not going to take me forever. So yes, I'm looking forward to it. But basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the camera down much closer to the canvas so that we can have a look at the symbols and look at the image close up and also at some of the um, details in the image and so on. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so now you are very close to the canvas, probably about 30 centimeters, 20 to 30 centimeters away. So now you can have a good look at the quality of the symbols. So this is very normal for Diamond Art Club. You can see how amazingly clear these symbols are. You definitely don't need a light pad to work on Diamond Art Club canvases. That said, I do always use a light pad actually, but it's just a matter of habit. Um, now I'm actually sitting quite close to a window and I'm using natural light for this video. It is a little bit of an overcast day, but the light seems to still be okay. But I do apologize if there's been an odd shadow here or there, but I do tend to prefer to use natural light because then you don't get the reflection and so on off the canvas. Um, that said, the point I'm making is that this is natural light and you can see how clear these symbols are. So these black symbols are always the same on Diamond Art Club canvases. These are the three tens. So this is the plain back, black background, bit of a tongue twister there. This here with the oranges and the yellows and so on, this is obviously the cocktail itself. 
Again, you can see how clear these symbols are. Everything there is crystal clear. No issues seeing anything there. Um, so I'm just panning up a little bit so that you can have a look. So all very clear there. Let's perhaps have a look at some of the words. So here you can see the words top with and there is cola. Very clear as well. And if we go even higher here, you'll see the words long and, and island. So yes, it's quite obvious that the symbols are very clear. To discuss color blocking versus confetti, well, I think that is also pretty obvious. This canvas is going to have and does have large amounts of color blocking. I think the whole background basically, well, not I think, I can see, is color blocking. Some of the words as well, you can see the same symbols here throughout the words. I think the only place you're really going to get some confetti is here in the lemon. And then obviously in the drink itself, we've already had a look at that. Here you can see, you know, here for example and so on, there is confetti. These are the ice cubes. These squares are the ice cubes. And yeah, so you can see the confetti going through there. But other than that, this is pretty much going to be a canvas where I'm going to be able to use a multiplacer. Yay! <laughs> I've been doing some canvases now that have been pretty confetti heavy and so I'm ready for, for something with a little bit of color blocking. Okay, so I've brought you back out a little bit just to make some final comments about this canvas to those of you that aren't that familiar with Diamond Art Club. The canvas is very soft and velvety. I love the feel of the Diamond Art Club canvases. They are also scalloped. The edges are scalloped so that it won't fray and you won't get bits of cotton stuck on your diamond painting. There are also always two legends. You can see one here in the bottom right and then another one obviously in the top left. Um, what else do I need to tell you about this canvas? Um, the glue, I never really need to check the glue. The glue is always perfectly sticky as it is this time as well. We did have a look or when, we, when I showed you the sticker sheet, we looked at the symbols. There was nothing there that looked confusing. The symbols all look perfectly clear and concise. The rendering... The rendering is pretty good. I mean, let's remember that this is a smaller canvas. As I'm looking at it now, the words are all clear to me. Long Island iced tea, top with cola, and then you've got the word splash with lemon, one ounce triple sec, and so on. I mean, you can see in the camera how clear the words are. So the rendering looks fantastic. I'm now going to get the drills. We're going to take the drills out of their packet and have a closer look at them. I don't tend to go through and mention all the exact... Oh, i got some stragglers in my packet. It looks like a... Let me just be careful. Something might be broken here. Um, sorry, as I was saying, I don't tend to mention all the exact numbers and so on to you, but we do just have a look at the colors in general. So let me just find the first strand. Sorry, I'm just being a bit careful here in case one of the bags is broken because I did have a few. Yeah, you can see there's a, it's a brown. I'm losing some brown drills. <laughs> but hopefully we will find those soon. Okay, so let's start by having a look at these drills. Um, 413. Okay, so here we have... Oh, that's what I didn't speak to you guys about, the ABs. So I did mention that there are 26 colors in this kit. Only one AB. There is only one AB and that is this 141. Now the 141 as you can see is a white AB and we've got two bags of that here. So I presume everything that's white on the canvas is basically going to get an AB. Other than that we've got 3371 which is a dark brown. Lots of bags of that. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow! 10 bags of 3371. So basically what I thought was going to be 310 is actually 3371. So this is the first time I've ever seen that. These symbols, the black, the black square with the round dot, 
is always three tens in Diamond Art Clubs. In this canvas, I see that it's 3371, which is this dark brown color that's on your, on your screen now. Anyway, 3799, there's one, two, three bags of that. Then we've got a bit of a gray and an orange color there. And then here are just the bags of color. Got some browns and some neutrals. There's a, a yellow, obviously, orange, some more browns and neutrals. So I'm just showing you the colors here in general, just so that you can get a feel for it. And ending there with 434. So basically those are the drills, guys. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see, if you have a look at the canvas, that there are obviously pops of color here in the middle of the canvas, but primarily the background, which I thought was 310 and is actually 3799, the dark brown, um, and then a fair amount of white sprinkled around in some of the wording and so on. So basically, now here you see there's some more straggler drills. <laughs> so there is a package here somewhere that is leaking drills, but only just. So I will have to try and find that one. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this fun unboxing. Like I say, this is just going to be a short and quick project for me. And I thought I'd share it with you guys. I have seen on the website that this one is currently low stock at the moment. So if you are wanting to grab it, if you're wanting to do something easy and fun and light over the holiday season, go and grab it. Um, I will link um, to the website below so you can use that link to find this painting. Like I say, when I last checked, which was this morning, um, I'm filming this on Saturday, it was marked as low stock. So head over there quickly if you're interested in it. I think this video will go up on Tuesday. It might be sold out by Tuesday, but you can always go and have a look. Other than that, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe. I would love to hang out with you more often on my channel. And yes, do keep your eyes posted on my channel. I have finished two decently sized canvases in the last few days, and I will be doing reviews of those in the upcoming week or two. Thanks, guys. Happy diamond painting. Bye.